Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Touchable version 1.3 and the Touchable server on OS X to use Touchable on the iPad to control Ableton Live. This is real easy to do, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now the first most important thing you're going to need to set up Touchable on OS X is going to be the Touchable installer disk image. You can get this from Touchable's website. Grab that installer, open it up, and then double click on the installer image. When this opens up, you're going to be presented with a wizard, which is going to ask you some basic questions about your Touchable setup. Now, you're going to be prompted to find the installation directory for Touchable. If you already have it installed, you're going to overwrite that current installation. And after you have overridden your current installation, if you have the previous version installed, Touchable is going to find your available Ableton Live installations on your system. So if it doesn't automatically find your Ableton installation, you can simply click on the folder and find the location of your Ableton installation on your Mac. This is important because Touchable needs to know exactly where it should install the scripts in order for Touchable to be able to communicate with Ableton Live. So find that directory and then continue on through the installer wizard. When the installer wizard is all finished, you're going to want to find and launch the Touchable server on your Mac. So after you've launched the Touchable server, it's not really any controls to the Touchable server. So just make sure that it's open and running and then go ahead and launch Ableton Live. When Live opens up, we need to make some changes to the preferences. So scroll up, click on Live, and select Preferences. Now when the Preferences dialog box opens up, click on the MIDI Sync tab, and under the Control Surfaces section, click on the first open Control Surface pull-down menu, and scroll down, and in that Control Surface pull-down menu, find and select Touchable 1. After you've selected Touchable 1, in the input pull down, click and select Touchable input number 1. Now, if you have other iPads that you're going to want to set up to communicate with Touchable at once, you can click the pull down menu in the control surface, select Touchable 2, and select Touchable input 2 as your next input for that next control surface. So if you have other iPads, this will apply to you. If not, don't worry about it. Now scroll down and under the MIDI ports section in Ableton, engage the track on function for touchable pads and touchable keys in the input section. Now we're almost done. One more configuration to do. Scroll down and for the output section, engage the sync option for touchable clock sync. This is all that you need to do in order to set up Ableton to communicate with the Touchable server. So now you should be ready to go. Your next question is going to be, how do I make my iPad communicate with my Mac and with Touchable and the server? Well, this is pretty easy to do. If your iPad and your Mac are both on the same Wi-Fi network and you have the Touchable server open, you should be able to simply cause for the iPad to communicate with the Touchable server via your Wi-Fi router. Now in this case, you're using a Wi-Fi router in order to do the communication, but let's say that you're playing live or you are somewhere where you don't have a Wi-Fi router accessible to you. In this case, we're going to set up an ad hoc network. So to do that, click on the networking icon and scroll down and select Create Network. Now you're going to be asked to create a computer-to-computer -computer network. So we're going to create a network to connect our iPad and our Mac together without the use of a router. So the first thing that we're going to do is give our network a name. I'm going to call this Touchable. And I'm going to leave the channel set to automatic. That should be just fine. And I'm going to tick the box next to require password. This is important because you do not want for outside people to, in order to be able to reach your computer and therefore your files. So tick require password and then enter a password into the empty password field which will be hard for others to guess but easy for you to remember i'm going to use 40-bit web uh, which is a very compatible and easy to use security protocol and then i'm going to hit ok now my new network is going to be created by my mac and my 
network connection icon is going to blink for a little bit. And now in order to select my new ad hoc network, if it's not already selected, I can click on my network selection icon and select touchable. Now my currently active Wi-Fi network is going to be my ad hoc network, which I created called touchable. And now, as you can see by the small icon in my taskbar, I currently have a different Wi-Fi icon than what I'm used to seeing when I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network. This is my ad hoc Wi-Fi network icon, and this means that it is waiting for an active connection to connect to my Mac. So now when I open up my iPad, I can see that ad hoc network available to me and I can connect to it using the password I used and therefore I can connect up and make use of Touchable on my iPad and my Mac. I hope that you guys found this useful. As always, stay in touch with me, Brian at Obedia.com, on Twitter and Facebook at Obedia Tutor. And as always, keep making music, play around with Touchable. I think it's a really awesome application. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a shout. And as always, keep making music, and I'll see you next tutorial. Take care. Mm -hmm.